Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be creating an auto playing image slider with React and Tailwind. So I have my project open here and I have an array of images that I got from Unsplash and I'm using Next.js as well. I also got the GitHub repo open on my other monitor. So I'll be looking back and forth just so I can get the code correct. And I'm gonna try to do this within five minutes. So I already wasted one minute doing the intro. So let's get started. <laughs> so let's go ahead and import use state because we're gonna need use state. We're also gonna need use effect as well. So let's go ahead and import that since we're here. Use effect. So let's go ahead and set some state. Do a const. I'm gonna do current index and then set current index. And the default value on this will be zero. All right. And now let's go ahead and write some JSX and then we'll get more into the, more into the functionality of things. So let's go ahead and do a class name of max with 1400 pixels, a height of 780 pixels. I'm going to do a width of full, a margin of auto, a PY of 16. So that's padding top and bottom, a PX of four. So that's uh, padding uh, left and right. And we also gonna give this a position relative and also a group class as well. All right. So inside this, we're going to have another div and inside this div, we're not going to put anything. We're just going to change the background. So let's do a style. And make sure you do double brackets and do background image like that and make sure you do back ticks so we're going to do url and inside our url we're going to return our current uh index our slides and then current index make sure you put dot url okay so if you use the next.js, you're going to get an error because we're using use state. So make sure you put use client at the top here. Use client. Okay. And now let's uh, give this div a class name as well. So I'm going to do a class name of width full, a height of full, a rounded 2XL. A BG of center, a BG of cover, and we're gonna also give it a duration of 500. Okay, so there we go. We see our first index, our current index. So if we go here to use state, um, we could change this to one, and it go to our second image, and then three, it goes. What well, it goes to our third index. So that's how. That's basically how you make sliders. You know, you do it like that. So now let's uh, actually add the logic in. All right, so let's do a cons pre slide. And this is going to be an arrow function. And we're going to set our current index to prev index. And this is going to return a ternary operator. So we're going to do Prev index, so prev index triple equals to zero. We want it to return slides dot length minus one. And but else we're just going to do prev index uh, prev index. Why is it not auto completing? Prev index minus one. Uh, I forgot to put the dot there. There we go. All right, so prev index minus one. So that's our previous slide, prev slide. And we'll do a cons next slide. And this is gonna return kind of the same thing, just a little bit different. So we're gonna do a set current index. And prev index. And this is also going to return a ternary operator. So they're going to do prev. So prev index triple equals to slides dot length. Slides dot length minus one. We're going to do return zero. 
what else we're just going to do prev index plus one all right so we got our functions there so what we can do we can add our arrows now but i kind of wanted to start making this auto playing now so what we can do is use our use effect that we imported it's right underneath our array of images it's really easy so we're going to do use effect and this is going to return function like that and we're just going to do a cons auto you can name this whatever you want i'm just going to do auto play and it's going to equal to set interval like that Go so in here, we're gonna do next slide. We're gonna run our next slide function. So we're gonna run this function there. And all we gotta do now is write, we need to set like a time. So um, we could do 3000, that's three seconds. You can do 5000, that's five seconds. I'm just gonna do 3000, 3, like that. And then um, still inside of our use effect, um, we, gotta do a, we gotta do a clear interview, interval. So we're gonna do return. It's going to be an arrow function and we're just going to do a clear interview and we're just going to we're going to clear our autoplay um autoplay right there so we do need a dependency array and it's just going to be current index like that so with that once we save we should see it move let's see if it works refresh there we go so there we go it starts moving right away so while that's going we can go ahead and import our arrows from react icon so i'm just gonna go ahead and copy it from my github repo so make sure you guys install react icons and there we go so we got bs fill um arrow left circle and then bs fill arrow right circle so this is going to be for our um i arrow icons as you know in this case you want to move the slide yourself all right so we're going to do a const arrow and just do const arrow like that. Actually, let's uppercase it. Const arrow. And in here is actually gonna take some stuff. So we're gonna do direction. Uh, direction. And it's also gonna take an on click like that. All right. And this is going to return us some stuff. So in here, you can split this up. So this is basically kind of like a reusable component. You could put this into another file, um, but I just kept it in here. So I'm gonna do a div. Uh, probably should have put return. Oh, why not? I don't have to put that. So I'm gonna do a div and this is going to have a class name of hidden because we want it to be hidden. And it's gonna have, so also have a group hover a group hover of block and then position absolute a top of 50 percent 50 percent a translate x of zero and a translate y of negative 50 percent and a text to Excel around it a full a padding of two and a text of white. That. All right, and let me just make sure that I'm not forgetting anything. Uh, we can also do a cursor pointer like that. So we're not gonna be able to see these yet. So inside this div, this is where we're gonna put our our icons. But, oh wait, what is it? Okay, so we're gonna put our icons. So we're going to do, we're gonna render them conditionally. So if it's direction, direction triple equals to left, all right? We're gonna return our um, left icon. So BS fill left icon. I made this thing a while back, so that's why I'm looking at like all this code. All right, so we're gonna do an on click in here. On click, and that's gonna equal on click like 
like that okay so we're sending this um through props and uh we also can do the size of 25 okay so if it's left it's going to return our left and then else is just going to return our right bs right and this is going to have the same props as this as this one okay all right cool so that's really it for that and now all we got to do is go down here and put it inside of our jsx so underneath this div we're just going to do arrow like that and pass in the prop so we're going to do direction is going to be left let's see if we see it let's go ahead and do the do the next one i right quit and this one is going to be right and this is also going to have next slide like that all right so i see the issue here for our error component we're returning jsx and we have brackets so instead of brackets we got to do parentheses it's going to remove this and we also got to remove this thing on the div so that's that and we should see something pop up but it's not our arrows as you can see and that's because we forgot one thing so on this div still inside of that we're going to do a style so we're going to do style and make sure you do double brackets and then we're going to do direction and this is going to equal this is going to be 20 pixels okay now let's see if that works there we go so now we can see them so what this does is basically it takes this prop direction so if it's left it's going to be left 20 pixels because it's position absolute um and right 20 pixels if i so the direction is right so if i change this to top it's going to be top 20 pixels for the right if i can see it there we go you see the top it's up there uh, and if i change this to bottom same thing it's going to be bottom 20 pixels um so yeah that's really it it's really really cool way to uh make reusable components kind of just wanted to <laughs> uh make it look better but uh yeah so that's really it and let's make sure it works so we go to the next slide nice so that's really it this pretty sure this video is way longer than five minutes try to make it as fast as i can but as you can see it's a bunch of code but uh yeah so hopefully you guys enjoy i will see you guys next video peace